This is called Seal, a millennium rap, and usually I do it to a, you know, a rap rhythm and sometimes it drums and stuff in the background, but no, we just talk it. Seal. Everything had to go. There was new stuff to sell. Old stock to dispose of. The century was ending. A last feeding frenzy of getting and spending commodities swarming from heaven to hell. Profits on a gargantuan scale. It was the sale of the century. In the century of the sale. There were cereal bowls from the skulls of Cambodia. Fine sculpture from skeletons of Ethiopia. A rush on for shoes, all kinds and all sizes. Limited stocks from the factories of Auschwitz. And the bidding was on for the Holy Grail in the sale of the century, in the century of the sale. Large assortments of organs, internal, external, new livers, placentas, fresh eyeballs, new hearts, mega gallons of blood, silos full of bone marrow, a brisk one-way trade in used body parts, south to north, east to west, gross, and retail. The poor sold themselves in the century of the sale. Demand and supply ruled the great halls of learning. So, data was expensive. Wisdom was free. A corporate-sponsored production of knowledge. Intellectual fast food, courtesy of MACD. And Oxford and Cambridge and Harvard and Yale had been bought by the colonel in the century of the sale. Mephistopheles came offering diamonds and gold but he couldn't get a taker. All his souls had been sold. They were tied in investments, put in bonds and in stocks, sealed in portfolios, locked in a strong box. Satan offered the whole world. All to no avail. Souls were just a dead loss in the century of the sale. In previous centuries, death was the great leveler, and birth the beginning of all possibilities. Now death had no currency, a dishonored check, and birth negotiable, a question of fees, murder by contract, babies by email. It was one and the same in the century of the sale. Money literally bought time, so time became money. They found ways of converting millennia to millions. So, with poor, dead, slum children and rich, old patricians, we came to the end of the 20th century. All history price-labeled, futures for sale, all the joy and the reason of living dried stale, but everything had to go or the market would fail. And now history was screaming her last bitter wail for mined valleys of dread, acid wastes of slime magistry, the great drifts of anomy, the white wastes of the dead, for the ticker tape stuttering its dark lines of profit, for the hopelessness and the lovelessness and the undying death of it. History was screaming for all that was lost, for the unreckonable, unpayable, unendurable cost of a greed so enormous it was cosmic in scale and had ruled all our lives in the century of the sale rule all our lives in the century of the sale all of our lives in the century of the sale